What is going on guys? It's Justin from the J Media back with another video. So as you can tell, our tent is back there. This is day number three in Big Bend National Park. And we got up around 7.30 in the morning, um, but lazed around for a little bit. Really nice mountains in the background. Again, if you guys are wanting to stay in Big Bend National Park, this is the Chisos Campground. Right in the center, in my opinion, really, really nice. Um, so pitch up tent and we started to make breakfast we have this portable stove here which is awesome like I said self-sustaining we don't need any electricity or electricity hookups or anything like that all we need to do is buy the portable stove do we need to buy some propane a lighter and you're good to go you can pretty much fry stuff boil stuff so that's what we did boil some water some hot chocolate some hot cocoa and I also made some sandwiches here. So toasted the bread on the stove, some tuna, eggs, spam, cheese, sausage, tomato, pretty hearty breakfast. So yeah, pretty, uh, pretty excited. So my camera ran out of battery, so I'm switching to a different camera source, but as you can see in the back, there's no more tent. My cousin and my brother are going ahead and dismantling the tent. And then we also have the Jeep all loaded up. We'll be going on a scenic drive first. I think it's called the Maxwell Ford Scenic Drive in the Jeep. Apparently the most beautiful scenic drive here in Big Bend National Park. And then we'll be heading towards Terlingua, Texas. And then from Terlingua, Texas, we'll just go ahead and head towards Marfa. We are all set and ready to go. So we're gonna drive the Maxwell Scenic Route did you need a view for the back door? Or it's Ross Maxwell Scenic Drive, beautiful view. Stop by again to get a more scenic view. Really nice. There's actually another trail here, but we are heading to Terlingua, so I'm not gonna do this trail, but oh, it's pretty nice.
by this visitor center. Really cool. A lot of old rusted uh, old structures. Oh, like, look, that's so cool. So we're headed to Esterlingua. Um, apparently, it's an old town and has a lot of these structures as well. I'm coming over here to check this out. Really cool. It's an old wooden wagon and beautiful view out here as well of the canyons in the background and it's all this kind of gravel off-road so good thing we have a 4x4 jeep Just got off the jeep like, over here. What's the best way to take it? I, I sent the like Elena Canyon. So this is the overlook. We really wanted to do the trail, but sadly I think it's close. But it's beautiful. Right behind the canyon is what where Mexico is. Um, there's actually a small Mexican town you could go to from here. You have to bring your passport, go through Border Patrol, and then um, there's a little river, the Rio Grande River, I believe that there'll be a border patrol they'll take you on a little river and you can go across to the mexican town uh for lunch or whatever we want to do that but my sister didn't have her passport on her but this is amazing amazing view of the santa elena canyon we're trying to see how far in we could go even though the trail is closed um so we were staying over here at chisos basin which is pretty much right in the middle of big Bend national park Right now, we are heading towards Terlingua, Texas, so we stay here and then we pretty much went up here, here, and then we went on a scenic drive, which is the Ross Maxwell Scenic Drive. So, from here, we went down. I think we just passed by the Castle and Visitor Center. We are right around here now, Santa Elena Canyon. So, from here, we're just gonna go up here towards Terlingua, which is right here. And then from Terlingua, um, we have to head towards north to go up to Alpine, Texas, and then Alpine, go west, and we'll reach Marfa, Texas. reached over here at Terlingua. So like I said, we're right outside Big Bend National Park. As you can see, the terrain is very uh, rocky and a bunch of gravel. And they call it the ghost town of Terlingua. I think back in like the, I want to say 50s or 60s, there used to be like, like lost civilization here and then a lot of people left it. Mainly you see a lot of tourists, people in RVs and Jeeps and trucks passing by. Uh, or, of course, if you work in Big Bay National Park, this is one of the neighboring towns. You could also stay here. You could get like a motel or lodging um, and make your way into Big Bay each day as well. You could do that too. So I think we're in the ghost town of Telingua. I see a lot of nice American classic cars, which is pretty cool. A lot of them are like actually in really nice condition. Well, some are more beat up, some are pretty nice. Um, I'm not sure if people actually live here or are they just vacant. I'm not too sure why they call it the ghost town uh, from what I read. Seems like back in the 50s or 60s, people actually live here as a little town. And everywhere is just gravel. Beware of bear. 
in fun fact, God, uh, the RV is a lot of parking. Okay. Nice thing about driving a Jeep. <laughs> yep, we are driving a Jeep, so yeah. everywhere is gravel. No problem. <laughs> so a lot of you can see rusted out old cars starlight theater pretty cool and then there's like restaurant and bar i think i read about the starlight theater so inside this uh, trading company uh you can buy souvenirs and then inside of them uh they have those kind of tours you want to get tours and then uh they also have those kind of artifacts uh, if you all like to see artifacts inside those historical artifacts from the mining because they're known for mining got stories if you want to go pop oh in yeah there used to be a mining it's okay we'll just do a drive around yeah. and then head over to marfa pretty much here is the radio and a very small a small little um town right outside of big ben gravel road and it feels significantly hotter outside. I want to say a good 10 degrees hotter just by stepping out of the car early at the gas station. Pretty cool. Pretty quick attention, old school car. So I think we're gonna stop by here. It's almost 2 p.m. We're gonna stop by to get some uh, food, some tacos, my brother said. And we haven't had lunch yet, so. Be a large spot. Cute little spot. So we're all here waiting for the food at this uh, cafe. Spotted this barn find. Like I said, a bunch of old abandoned cars just out here. I see a bunch of random car parts just sitting around. So, pretty cool. No engine, no tires, no wheels. Cactus. It's really cool. I really like the vibe of this cafe. Feels like I'm in Mexico playing Spanish music. Look at that. You can see Spanios in the restroom. So, just got food from La Posada Malagro and got myself a sandwich came with chips so yeah we're gonna head down to alpine texas which is about uh i want to guess maybe two hours maybe an hour to alpine another hour from alpine to marfa so we just left terlingua and right now we are heading towards marfa texas where we'll be spending the next uh two days so yeah, pretty excited to see what Marfa has to offer. We're gonna go by Alpine first, and then for Alpine, we're gonna go to Marfa, Texas. We just got to our Airbnb here in Marfa, Texas. First time here, we're gonna go check it out just parked out here and we just managed to find the key gotta show you guys a little tour of the house oh really nice nice cozy home really cool I already like it Yard view, which I'll show you guys later. Your washer dryer. And we have our backyard area. Let me just show you guys. Nice little patio area oh nice lights that's really nice campfire pit with a hammock pretty cool 
A few moments later. So we just unpacked some stuff from the Jeep. Right now we're gonna head to the grocery store. Um, it's a little bit later in the day, it's about 5 p.m. right now, so a lot of places are closed. A lot of sightseeing places we wanted to go to, but we'll probably hit that up tomorrow since we have a full day here in Marfa. Um, the plan is we'll be doing some dinner at home at the house. We got an Airbnb, really nice, really artsy, as you guys have seen. Um, so yeah, just gonna pick up some groceries. There's a local grocery shop called The Get Go. So we're gonna hit that up. I think it's been here since 07, 2007. Um, apparently it's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and support the local grocery store. Just got here to The Get Go. So like I said, grocery store, really cool and artsy. So yeah, we're gonna go here. So apparently, I know you can get like your food from like, you know, gas stations, food marts. Um, from what I'm seeing, this seems like a pretty small town. Everything's pretty close by. And there's a lot of attraction stuff. So make sure to stay tuned for the next video tomorrow when we actually explore Marfa. But for today, the get-go is a go-to spot because um, if any supply shop close in town, this is a go-to spot. They're open, I think, to 8 p.m. Um, so not just groceries. I'm pretty sure they have other stuff as well. So really cool. Let's check it out. Got some groceries, chicken, rice, broth, firewood, as well as some beer. Interesting. So we have soju, which is Korean rice wine. We're gonna try this Buddha beer. I had it once. My boy Marco let me try it. Really cool shape of a Buddha. So right now we just headed back to Airbnb. Uh, we are really close, like three minutes away from grocery store. So yeah. Just made it back to the Airbnb. My sister will be in charge of cooking. <laughs> Check out the little stove here. It's so cute and compact, small. And later tonight, we'll probably have some drinks out back there with a nice little fire. Should be pretty nice. So we just spent the last couple hours just resting here at the Airbnb, had dinner. My sister made food tonight, some home cooked food. So pretty awesome. Like I said, um, we're back to civilization the last few days in Big Bend National Park. No cell phone reception, no Wi-Fi, no electricity. I, I can't charge our phones. Um, no real water source, we had to pack a bunch of water, so really out there camping. Um, pretty back, glad to be back, like I said, right now we're here in an Airbnb, really beautiful place, you can charge your phone, you have lights, you have a restroom to shower, we have not really been able to shower the past few nights. So the alternative is you can powder a bath or just use some wet wipes to keep clean. Uh, right now it's at night, so we can't really do too many stuff here in Marfa, Texas. Um, there is one spot that we want to go see that is open 24 hours. It's called the Mystery Lights Observation Area. So if you guys know Marfa, it's a really artsy contemporary town. You guys will see more of that tomorrow when we actually go visit, you know, the different touristy attractions. Even the Airbnb, super awesome, super touristy. I really like it. Um, yeah, so pretty much this Mystery Lights area, um, there's a bunch of, how should I put it, like glowing lights. Um, that's been around for decades, since the 50s, I believe, or even earlier. Uh, like green, red, white, just like random like lights just flashing, disappearing. And some people say they might be ghosts, some people say they might be UFOs. We don't know, so we're gonna drive out there and check it out. We're about to leave, and we have a little visitor here. That's <laughs> a fat that? cat. So we just made it out here to the observatory. You can tell it's pretty dark. This is right off the highway. I think it's called US 90 highway. Um, and in a night nice sky, we should be able to see something hopefully. We'll go over to the uh, observatory. Hopefully we can get a better view. So here, Marfa Mystery Lights. So before that, I believe people start seeing like these lights back in like the 50s or before that. But back in 2003, 1883, oh wow. So people say first sighting 1883. In 2003, this area was actually uh, built just so people could view the lights. So we just left the um, 
more for mystery lights we saw kind of some small white and red lights we're not too sure some people say like you said they're ufos we're not sure it could be car headlights from really far away everyone has a different theory to where those lights came from the only thing is if they're car headlights apparently first time was spotted was back in 1883 by a cowboy so back in the late 1800s no cars around so i'm not sure anyways we're over here to check out one of the local hotels which apparently is one of the nicer hotels here called hotel saint george a little library in here pretty cool really artsy so apparently this hotel has been here for a long time oh wow apparently the hotel was torn down in in 1929 really nice and contemporary in here looks like a really nice art space just made it back to the house so we're just gonna call it a night over here um, tomorrow will be one full day exploring Marfa Texas so pretty excited so if you want to check out those videos make sure to stay tuned again if you're new to the channel you like travel vlogs make sure to hit that subscribe and notification bell so you know when you visit out thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video